who, besides helping Chandra and also working on support a little bit, I had that idea before that I thought it was going to be a massive work. And it is a massive work, but uh, I got a few stuff working on a really small amount of time. And the idea was using also the gRPC interface for interprocess communication for the Sync API and RPC API to implement a Go a minion in Go. So why Go? Because I really like it. It's a really fun language to learn. And actually, after just a few tutorials, my first attempt to write in something in Go was a Kubernetes controller that I wrote on the other dev jam. So we already have a minion, and it works amazing. But it will be uh, interesting, especially on devices with uh, low resources, like Raspberry Pi, to have an equivalent on something faster and more performant, and Go can help in that way. And also when we don't need all the power or functionality that the current Java Minion provides. And as usual, I always have a, an excuse to work or write something in Go. So in those three days that I've been working on this, I was able to create a APIs in Go for the major RPC modules and sync modules. Of course, telemetry and flows is just beyond uh, what I can do in just a few amount of time. But uh, and in terms of example implementations, I just do a very basic stuff. Uh, but one of the cool thing about the SNMP RPC module is that everything goes to that module instead of the collector. So I can actually have data collection and SMP working. And uh, I'm able to receive traps and syslogs. Of course, there's a lot of work to do, but as a proof of concept, it looks pretty nice. So for the demo environment that I'm going to show, I have uh, a Docker environment running OpenMS uh, and Kafka and exposing uh, the gRPC IPC using an uh, external gRPC server that I also wrote in Go. And then I'm going to have the Go medium running on a Raspberry Pi monitoring a test server that's open also my lab. Okay, so the hard part. So I hope everything goes well. Uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, so let's go switch here. So everything is uh, working there. So now I'm going to go to my Pi and start the Go menu. And actually, we can see here. Let's wait a little bit for the first habit. In the meantime, as you can see, uh, the way I wrote everything it will be auto detected. So all the, the RPCs, the available RPC and sync APIs are registered automatically as well as monitor detectors and collectors. And uh, of course it's pretty quick. So as soon as it sends the heartbeat, the minion is just there. So let me just create a requisition with that test server that I mentioned on this slide. So that's from my machine. Just, just created it there. And as you can see, all the activity querying that device. And now if I go here, we can see the node is like right there. And it's possible to use the DNS module and discover all the 
things uh, through SNMP. And actually, the last work that I've been doing with the HTTP is actually, or actually working as well. And uh, just to show you another way to visualize that everything is actually working. So, well, obviously, detectors are working, as you can see, on the UI, but you can actually test it from here, and it still work. Same thing for polling, and same thing for data collection. Uh, and if it's like right there. And for the last part, now that we are here on the node page, it's like from the server that I'm actually monitoring. A few scripts to show you the Xin functionality. So I just send a message via syslog. And sure enough, it is received. And actually, you can see that it is received the request and forwarded. And I can send. V1 traps uh, or V2 traps. V3 is possible, but I didn't have time to actually implement it. And the library that I'm using for SNMP and Go is still have issues with V3, so it's just basic for now. But at least you can see that I'm receiving traps and syslog as well. And uh, one of the one of the things that is actually incredible, and especially with writing stuff in Go, is that all the things you can do in such a small amount of time. I, I even wasn't sure that I was going to have something working at this level today, but I was actually able to do it pretty quickly, which is impressive. Uh, so maybe I can after day journey, if I have some time to start adding more stuff to it just for fun, just to see how far I can go with this. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Awesome. Thanks, Alejandro. That's pretty cool. Yeah, much better effort than uh, what I put together last time. Were you able to leverage any of that bit at all, or did you just start from scratch? I pretty much start from scratch, but I actually I saw your code so like for inspiration and see how that goes. And actually, I stole some of the uh, SNMP PDU handling. OK, cool. But, yeah. yeah. Because that's definitely required. And without and that, the, the DTOs and the SNMP handling? And did you, uh, yeah. OK, cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah, for, for the Go SNMP library. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad that was useful at least. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Ne next step flows. Oh yeah, that will be hard, but <laughs> I will. I will try. <laughs> awesome. Sweet. Okay. Well, thanks, Alejandro. 